You didn't like your breakfast? Ah, oh, I gotta get to work. Well, let me make you a sandwich or something. <laughs> if I wanted a sandwich, I'd make a sandwich. Thanks. What's up? Make like you're upset I'm not around more. Well, here I am. I'm not upset. I, I just gotta get to work. Some of us have to work. I thought we'd like to store pretty one nights. Yeah, well, our supervisor realized he couldn't take advantage of me, so he shifted me back to days. It's like I tell the girls. The powers that be can only push you around as much as you let them. You stand up to them, I'll stop. Convert. What the fuck do you care? Please. Stay. with you. Twenty-two. My Hebrew friend wishes you a happy birthday. Can tell Skippy here and uh, the rest of the gang to enjoy their weekend, because as of Monday, I'm back running what's mine again. Fuck you! Wanna make me money? Who might have stop you? the Russians. Are you sure? The header was Boris Kurkovsky out of Brighton Beach. Kurkovsky? Yeah. You can't touch him, though. Why not? He's a TEC informant for the FBI. You go after him, they'll stomp on you with both feet. You sure about this? Straight out of the computer files of the U.S. attorney. Good shit, Deckel. Thanks. 
Listen, any time you want that envelope, you know it's always waiting for you. Yeah, whatever. Don't forget to give Maggie her present, okay? And don't just eat cake, okay? Abby, you listening to me? Okay. Okay, give Uncle Mike a nice kiss goodbye. She's off to Maggie Connor's birthday party. The Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. All right. I get a kiss goodbye. Yeah. We knock him dead out there. Let's go, baby. Pete did this. Yeah. So pretty nifty, huh? Nifty. Yeah. Pretty fucking amazing. He's down at Bridgeport today. He says he found a front bumper that might do the trick. How's he doing? He's good. Sober? Every day. Your response, so you fucking look after him. You know, Mike, uh, when you first put the arm on me to hire Pete, I thought you were crazy. I thought he was, uh, Disaster waiting to happen, but he's a good worker. Yeah? I could set my clocks by him. Well, according to this, you don't owe me nothing anymore. So now, I owe you Pete's next month's wages. You keep it, I'll pay him myself. Take the fucking money. Deal's a deal, right? He never finds out where that comes from. Oh, no, he won't. He's got real talent. My fucking life miserable, you know that, Michael? I mean, you just had to go whack Kirby the Jew, didn't you? I don't see what the problem is. And the problem is not as always up my ass, that's the problem. This is your mess, though, so you're gonna clean it up. You're gonna go see him, you're gonna do whatever the fuck he tells you to do. You're gonna take Van Gogh here with you. Because I don't trust you alone. I gotta work for Nazoli. Well, oh. I'm <clears throat> definitely not taking fucking Mo with me. Look, can we get something straight? My name isn't fucking Mo, it's Jeff. And I want to be called by my real name, okay? Jeff. Yeah. Since when? Since always, Mike. Really? Yeah. Hey. Mo, Larry, Curly, I don't give a fuck. I just want Nazoli happy so he's off my back. I'm not fucking taking him with me. Yeah, you are. This is fucked up. Fuck me. Uh, it's a terrible accident. I, I, I was out like, sorry. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I hated the useless prick myself, but for some reason he made my sister very happy. And now she's very upset. I can't let what you did stand. Well, I apologize. Yeah. 
and I hope they will let Mo and I make amends. Whatever it is you want done, we'll do it. Anything. There's a truck coming through town tomorrow night. It's full of PlayStation 3s. PlayStations. You know, the video game thingies. What the fuck is it with you Irish? Every kid in America wants one. The driver likes to stop over at Feathers in East Providence. Go there, hijack the truck, and you drive it to this warehouse on Eagle. Just hijack the truck. And with respect, why don't your guys do it? What do you need us for? They're paying me for protection. The fuck out of my sight. Oh. All right. Mo, let's go. It's Jeff. Hmm? Jeff. Hey, Ma. Listen, when you go over there, you say hi to Colin for me. Tell him I'll see him tomorrow. I'm not going over there. Thank you very much. Why not? Showing up like this, no advance warning. Making assumptions. Here I am, take care of me. This isn't about the shoplifting, is it? He was 12, for God's sake. Everybody swipes something at 12. Ladies on the bar. Yeah. He was somewhat precocious in that department, if I remember. Then again, he is from your side of the family. Disgusting. He's no good, Michael. He's not trustworthy. I'll be back late. Don't wait up. See you later. Where's this fucking truck? Stop yapping. I'm not fucking yapping. I'm asking a question. Which way is it coming? What? The truck. Is it going to come from over here, over there? How the fuck should I know? 107 Emily. 107 Emily. That's it. There it is. All right, from now on, I do the talk. Take your truck. I'm not gonna hurt you. All you gotta do, step down nice and easy, and stand by that fence, count to a thousand. Then you call whoever you wanna call. But I know you live at 1107 Princess Street, Cranston. You got a nice daughter waiting for you called Emily. So you might not wanna mention us, all right? What do you say? Hey, Mac, get the fuck out of the truck. Would you please let me handle this. Come on. Hey, when I say get the fuck out of the truck, I'm <laughs> Mo! What are you doing? Mo! It ain't fucking Mo, it's fucking Jeff. Jeff! Stop kicking a guy! Shit. He's fucking fine, he's faking it. He's not hey, faking shit. a heart attack, you fucking idiot. Shit. Right, um. Look, put him in your car. Take him to the hospital, drop him off and get out of there. I'll take the truck. Why are you taking the fucking truck? Because it's your car, because you gave him a fucking heart attack. Well, let the fat fuck guy, we'll get the fuck out of here. He's your truck driver. What do he ever do to you? Come on. Fucking Adam. 